Here is the portrait of Joe Clark, former Prime Minister of Canada. I created in 1981. Originally, I had this mosaic frame as if it was an oil painting. It was, on, it was not until 1993 that the idea came to me to make a large photo album to incorporate this leather mosaic on its front cover. It could be that I am the first craftsman in history to have created a life-size portrait in leather mosaic. If my assertion is correct, it means that the portrait of Chanibel Laprade I am about to create will be the second in history. I hope that by revealing the technique to produce such works, there will eventually be other artisans who will become interested in it. This portrait of Joe Clark gives you a good idea of the colors of leather that I have at my disposal to execute the portrait of Chalibel. Each color in this work is a piece of leather that I have cut in a color matching skin. Even the small white dots in the eyes are pieces of leather. I used no paint, no stain, and no pencil in the realization of this mosaic. We do not caress an oil painting, a watercolor, or a charcoal with our hands. But we caress and we smell a designer bookbinding finished in leather as much as we appreciate the look. It is therefore essential that it is soft and pleasant to the touch. The Blanchet Saint Jean leather mosaic technique offers this supreme quality of a perfect finish that is most pleasant to caress. We do not feel the joints between the pieces of leather. The mosaic is as soft and pleasant to caress as the entire leather that dresses up the designer bookbinding. So while you're close by, Sylvain, <laughs> I would like to caress the mosaic to show to the, the, the to show to the people what I'm saying to try to show the finish on on video. Actually, you see, the, uh, uh, we don't feel the pieces. It's it's perfectly soft. It's perfectly blended. It's caressable <laughs> as much as the leather that covers the binding. So, uh, while I got this album out, I'm gonna take a little time to show you around the, the work that I've done here. I could start by maybe showing you the sides of the slip case. As you can see, it's perfectly even. There's no bumps at all uh, between the two pieces of leather that were used to cover it up. Uh, we uh, also hardly see the joints between the two pieces of leather here. That's the kind of result you get when you use a pairing blade like I use and working with the burr, like I was showing you in other videos. Uh, you can see the blind tooling I've done all around uh, the slip case. It, uh, uh, it, it makes it look nice and it helps to, uh, how could I say, uh, to hide the joints of, of the leather, should I say. Now, uh, the opening of my slip case here, uh, I've beveled all around. Uh, I don't know if that would be a good lightning here. So uh, all the sides of the of the opening of the slip case was beveled to match the round of the spine, so to make it nice and even, to make it as much as a, a nice finish as possible. Uh, the gold stamping on the front, uh, the, uh, the corners were stamped with a hot stamping machine, a quick print up, up stamping machine. But the lines, the gold lines, I did with uh, a palette. I don't know how to say in English a palette there. It's a small book binder's tool. Uh, and normally, for what I know, uh, book binders will use a roulette to make uh, gold lines of that sort, but my master Jean Blanchet 
didn't have any roulette in his shop and uh, so for the 17 years I worked with him I never worked with the roulette I've never tried it but I wanted to have a, a very simple decoration to uh, go around this very elaborated leather mosaic so I tried with a pellet and it came out pretty good I don't know if it's a, if it's a common thing for other bookbinders to uh, use a pellet to make lines of that sort if, let me know if the if uh, no one's ever done it well I'll make a video to show you how I how I did those lines now I'll show you the inside of the slip case get up Uh, first I could show you maybe the the pairing of the leather for the opening of this uh, the window in in, in the slipcase uh, of course if you want to have a nice corner a nice finish in the corner you have to pair the leather all around and uh, that's uh, quite a job especially with uh, using uh, cow skin to pair the leather with such a size opening and that's achievable with uh, a blade that's nice and sharp that cuts well like the one I use there again using the burr <laughs> so I did I think a good finish here now on the inside well the inside I finish in a beautiful rust color velvet which makes it nice with the uh, pure chocolate brown of the leather now uh, inside uh, can you see well inside see that? yeah um, uh, as you know a photo album a handmade photo album the the front of the binding is always uh, thinner than the spine because of course we have to leave uh, the bookbinder has to leave some room for the to put the pictures inside so uh, but I wanted my, my my front cover and the leather mosaic to to stay flat in the opening of my uh, slipcase so I had it this piece of cardboard that I covered with the uh, velvet so that when I slip in the, the, the album the, the covers stay fully open all the way into the, the slipcase so that was the first time I was doing that uh, at the time and it worked out fine uh, what else can I say well <laughs> that's it for the uh, for the slipcase I'll show you a little bit the photo album <clears throat> well, I did the same uh, stamping on the on the album as I did on the slipcase. Uh, the I could show you the the work on the spine here. Uh, I did the so I did the lines, the gold lines on my spine here on top and bottom to match the lines uh, on the front cover. So it makes it look nice neat you know uh, I could show you also the the edge of the pages here uh, this is a uh, carved edges in the losange shape or diamond shape carving that uh, was created technique that was created by Jacques Blanchet uh, this is something else that uh, eventually I will definitely uh, show on video how to carve hedges in that way and with the Jean Blanchet technique to do so you can uh, do the same carving on the uh, on every one of your bindings uh, it will always be the same uh, binding after binding uh, I could show you also the size of the piece of leather that I used for this binding it's pretty large size binding this is a bradel, a bradel technique that I use for the binding, but a full, full leather. It's one piece of leather, and uh, of course I had to uh, figure out a way to pair the leather so that uh, I get as nice a finish as possible, and uh, I did find a way. That's something else that I might show eventually on another video. How I paired the leather on this to. Uh, to achieve such a finish as you can see on the spine we don't see any bump of the leather being folded around a piece of cardboard it's the same also uh, in the inside doubler I'll show that to you 
that's it. Uh, see, we don't see any bumps on the inside doublers. Uh, the pairing job was uh, was well. So I'll show that to you eventually, and uh, maybe I could finish off by showing you the the protective case that I made to uh, to protect this binding and to carry it around. I'll show this to you. So we'll put binding back in the slip case. Here we go. Actually, with this size of a binding, you don't put the binding in the slip case. You put the slip case on the binding. <laughs> it's uh, much easier, less heavy. So here's the here's this the, the carrying protective box that I had done. Uh, that I asked a, a friend artisan word worker to build for me. I had done the inside to measure uh, on my on my uh, book binding and then he, he built the, the case uh, over on top of my lining and then when he brought it back I added the uh, the handle on the top with the piece of uh, oak here and uh, I put in the in, I finished the inside with the felt to make it the protection for carrying my binding around. So very easy to slip in and out and no danger at all to scratch the leather. Here we go. So we say goodbye to Mr. Clark here. <laughs> the bye bye. There we go. Ready to hit the road. Whoop. Go. Right, so here I think we have a first class photo album. <laughs> so I wrote a little text for the conclusion of my first series of videos and I'll read that to you now. So I have now arrived at the conclusion of my first series of video. Thank you for taking the time to watch them. If you have learned even only one new thing that will help you in the realization of your book bindings, I will have accomplished something useful in the field of designer book binding. I ask your indulgence for the way I spoke. I presented myself to you as I am. I have nothing to sell and my teaching is free. The only important thing for me now is the safeguard of the work of Jean Blanchet. I had transferred this task in the hands of the Benedictine nuns of the Abbey Saint Marie des Deux Montagnes in 1999. Destiny has made it so that this task comes back to me 15 years later. So I decided to accomplish it through videos and using the internet. In this way, I am sure that my duty is done. The next step is to write an introduction for my second sets of videos and also practice a bit before I show you the Blanchet Saint Jean technique. The last leather mosaic I created was back in 1992 when I submitted a work to the International Bookbinding Competition for Prix Paul Bonnet 1992, organized by Centro del Bel Libro in Ascona, Switzerland. So I have 22 years to catch up. All this will take me a while to realize since during the day I work for a contractor in building mechanics. So I have to use my free time in the evenings and on the weekends to carry out this project. I also, like everyone else, have my common <coughs> and my social obligations to fulfill. <coughs> Excuse me. I cannot wait to show you how I have executed my leather mosaic in the past, but I have to be patient and create the time it takes to present this wonderful technique as well as possible. In the meantime, if you have any questions to ask me, or if you have any comments that you would like to share with me, you can do it on my Facebook page dedicated to Jacques Blanchet 
and on my YouTube channel. You will find the URL of those accounts in the credits at the end of all my videos. Thank you very much and see you next time.